not what I wanted to do. Alright, let's get right to it. So, I'm going to make a, a DLL. Out of this, the input access picker. It's an attribute drawer, a property drawer, excuse me. That's used right here. And this is the result of the property drawer. Pop up selector from input manager. So this class was written a few days ago. And now it's time to get it out of here, put it in a DLL, and get it back into the project. So we create a separate package separate po project class library call this one that way I can maintain the namespace So input access picker solution name. I created a directory for the solution because in this project we'll also need an editor project. It's required in Unity that the runtime scripts and the editor scripts be kept in a different assembly. First things first, we need a few imports. The Unity project, we need to import <laughs> Unity assemblies. Hey, welcome, Fowler. Viewer. Whatever you may be. I'm uh, importing a. building a DLL from code I have in Unity so I can use it in different projects. It's a pretty nifty little thing. Now that uh, I have the assembly imported, we can get rid of the assemblies we don't need. And I'm just going to copy the attribute from here, the entire thing. That's one end. No, so we add another solution to the project. We add another project to the solution. <laughs> yeah, just follow. Do as I do, not as I say. Name it appropriately. Class library. We're good to go. And copying again. The tutorial to creating this attribute and its property drawer is available on YouTube on my channel. OK. 
Okay, again we remove the unused references and add the ones that we do need. You see engine and DLL. And we also need our own project. Alright, that looks good. A few gotchas that got me. Put up my properties and the solution explorer. Yeah, okay. Unity editor, Unity engine, input access. Copy local, false. And also for the runtime side. The project that we're importing, this pro this DLL into already contains all the references we need for editor and engine. So we don't need to copy them locally. Besides, copying them locally will give you a quite a few problems as you know, the project that you're copying them into already has both assemblies so okay that's good all right so now that's all the basics let's open up the properties for each the target framework Unity supports 3.5. Do that for both projects. I think we're gonna <laughs> be lucky enough to get up to 4.5 here pretty soon. I thought I heard talks about that. Next up. build paths this is the pro first project that I've worked on with this so I would like to ah, I'd like to keep fresh in here so every time I build this project and the DLL is built it would update automatically in Unity so now I have my build path I just need a folder Copy this path back to Visual Studios. Very good idea to output XML documentation with your projects and comment them. You'll see an example as I open up the source files here momentarily. looks like I did my output paths backwards from my normal okay so this this is the runtime awesome all right
right, and this is the editor side. Editor side, editor folder. I believe everything will work fine in compile and run in the Unity editor, but once you go to build your project, you'll encounter problems with editor scripts being in the runtime environment. That I don't think that works. Right now we have an output path for our editor script to the editor folder. Let's build in see how it goes. Right, everything built successfully. We have a few warnings here, and this is about documentation. So now we have three undocumented, publicly accessible methods. This class, input access picker, does what? It draws a pop that pop up. in the unity inspector to pick an input from the input manager input access from the input manager to pick an input axis from the the input manager's Unity's built-in configurable input system. So I'm going to rebuild and now we should only have two warnings the inspector references this method to get the height to draw your property usually any simple property would be a single line height but you can adjust it here offer you more flexibility called before I believe to get its height property from this is the field from the class the label usually it's the I think it's the fields name okay, or the name of the the defined variable and we turn the height to draw the property so that's all commented out and this marvelous function here actually draws our property to the inspector position to draw so rectangle 
course that will show in the telesense that's not necessary and a bit of copy and paste magic build our solution everything should be fine input access build properly input access editor awesome so now back to unity in this tutorial we use existing unity scripts created DLLs and imported them back into unity brought to you by Calo creation don't forget to follow us on your favorite social media visit our website and quals thank you